is that something which you say not the first thing which you expected well yeah in, in many ways yeah to get bowled out before 450 overs was not something which even i expect but we have to understand that every new game that you play and every new skill sets which you come across there will be some sort of challenge and today we were tested we were tested by some uh, new plan new angles from where they were bowling and more importantly we were not able to stitch partnerships which was our strength you know most of the time is when we have done well or most of the times i mean all the games that we have played so far somebody stood up you know from the top four and he was able to carry it all the way till the 40th over that is part of our blueprint uh, we missed out on that part today and uh, that was the reason i think you know we were not able to achieve a respectable target i thought 240 250 was something we should have scored and we should have batted 50 overs yeah, regarding the opening we've seen individual players openers playing individual players but we have not been able to stitch that opening partnership mm. how big a issue is that if you are trying to play for the asia cup well if you're trying to play for asia cup obviously it's a totally different level of uh, experience skill sets and a full member team which you're talking about uh, if we consider the challenges that we are in right now i wouldn't say it's a big worry thing I and mean, it's it comes down to being switched on to that one ball battle you know and uh, sometimes it goes against you the awareness which we always talk about and situational awareness mainly you know i think the situational awareness is where we showed a lot of maturity in the past today uh, in phases we missed out on the situational awareness to bring in the right skills which are required for that particular phase you know to win those phase in partnerships i'm sure that you know a new experience like this is learning every new experience I and mean, sometimes you don't get the desired results but today for me it's the experience the experience which you take on board and take the learnings of that experience of having not done properly so you struggle facing more by facing them more a left arm angles uh, to the right handers uh, definitely is a different angle you know so it comes down to practicing a little more uh, with our side arms also we try to do that we have ashutosh who bowls left arm with his sticks and uh, we have been using that angles as well to practice pratish is there in bowling you know when he brings in and tests them sometimes but at the moment i don't think you know we can expect that those things you can solve overnight you know it's it's a gradual progress i mean the more you understand what is working for you what is not working for you the more you'll try to create a plan around it in your preparation and once you deep dive into preparation uh, you know fully involved you will know that you know what what is working for you and then from there the trust towards that process starts and you once you deep dive into that process against those particular angles then you are completely focused and concentrating towards what is coming to you and you'll try to respond to that in a most positive way uh, again the evidence let us go into the evidence of this year's journey you know the journey that we started off from game 1 in the uh, WCL2 to where we are in the Asia Cup qualifiers there are times then we have to bat first and we have defended scores today was a different score to defend so we were walking to the unknowns but the thing is a skill set i think our boys believed in the fact that once they sneak through in the phase 1 power play they will have an upper hand and exactly that's what happened you know bowling partners which we were able to see we were able to see how lalit was able to you know hold on from one end and how sandy was um, ensuring that he attacks from one end with his skills same way goes for sompal sompal was so disciplined so patient and he was attacking the stumps in the right way and you saw what sompal was able to do with the ball as well i think these are the kind of things which you look forward to sometimes you might not get the exact score that you are desiring for today the ball was speaking for us you know it defended that 150 158 i don't know i forgot the number again but uh, you know that uh, that shows the character right i mean there is exactly what you want in a good team and this team is on that journey which i keep talking about with a champion mindset and we want to keep on building this story every time i would love to keep on seeing this new faces look at that partnership between sandeep and lalit look at the way lalit handled it from the other side i'm more than sandy i know sandy's abilities but i enjoyed what lalit was able to do from the other side and those 40 runs mattered that mattered because in a way that small little partnership of 10th wicket shifted a little bit of belief and moment in our side you know and that is what we carried on in the second half we used to speak about the one ball one ball battles and lalit was facing that in practice today so how how what does what were your expectations when you sent him into that Well, he's practicing for that. He's practicing for absorbing from one end. And every time when he gets chance in the nets, he does that very regularly to ensure that you know he is someone who at least plays a support role well. I was very happy to see that some part of that came out in the field out there in one ball battles. We 
experimented with some part today. We had a stable middle order, but we tried and mm. uh, that didn't work out. But uh, can we expect such things to come or was it uh, presence of mind in this thing? See, uh, in our blueprint, when we try to plan, when we try to prepare, we try to plan and prepare for winning phases. And Sompal today was, uh, again, I think, uh, you know, it didn't work out for us, but the thought process was that Sompal can again, you know, go there and play his role from one end, hold on one end nicely, and maybe Rohit can, you know, ex go a little more deep in his innings. And it unfortunately, it didn't happen. And same, I was expecting still when Kushalmala walked in, that Sompal and Kushalmala had a good experience of last time around creating that partnership together. I was hoping that will work today, but it didn't happen. So that happens sometimes, you know. But we'll we'll do our homework again and we'll see who is the right person to be sent over there in that phase. Every game, every tournament, every uh, experience that the players are having is to ensure that they build on to their strengths. You know, I think our players are getting mature towards that part, and I'll urge all my players to keep doing the same thing: build on to your strengths, build on to your strengths, and keep on bringing your strengths in the next game when you play whoever the opponent is. And the moment the focus is only on the next game now. You are on the journey of building your story. I don't think you worry about the opponents. You only think about what you want to build for yourself. And we were very proud of what we are trying to build for ourselves. Our deepest identity. To be the fierce competitor. You know, as a Nepal cricket team. Scary moments. <laughs> I know, uh, challenging moments. Challenging moments is where uh, you actually understand who you are, you know, as a character. And I was again happy to see if something like this happens again, I will expect some one of the players will stand up. You know, one word which goes out very well, very well in a happy dressing room is trust. We trust each other. We know someone will stand up. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>